in play and config is hot so that is their biggest problem they need to stop config in his tracks right now a window molly achieves the same one expert leans astralis way up mid farley to be oh hello and still gets the frag big achievement from farley though spotted and there's another that slipped around look at that that's an interesting one they've got config in the underpass and even flanking Caserato. I'm not sure if they know this is completely clear. Caserato right now with his crosshair position seems that he might be ready for a flank or two, but if Config keeps going around the world, Zip might oh, leave the B-bomb site. Going to get weird and Zip. Oh, okay. Well, now Caserato's... It's just one man. It's found. luring Config back. The bomb's coming back. This is a very kooky round. Oh, Wart wow, needs to be alive. His number much more valuable in this 4v4. Config's going to get flanked here while taking the fight on site, but safe's loud. Very loud. Config's, Config's about to get this. spotted. Oh, he hears it. Oh, Conf back turn. Oh, okay, gets Yuri. Could end the round right here. Config, so many different targets. Caserato's still on the site. Processing it and still Zipex on the site. Caserato needs to fight, needs to finish onto Zip. Config again, gets one. A nice shot out of Art. That low HP doesn't stop him with the P250. Glaive pulls up from short. What a pistol round this has been. It's a little chance for Glaive here. Art is low. Yeah, and they've cut noise. Just trying to work out where he can be coming from. He doesn't need to engage until... Oh, there's info. Okay, Serato secures the information. It's Art that has to try and be Overwatch. And with such low HP on the jiggle. One click from Glaive could be enough. Art, good for it. What a round out of Art. Four frags on that P250. And he went in util, heavy. No armor behind that. Very impressive from the in-game leader. Yeah, and this is one of the things I was talking about keeping a lid on Config. Well, he still gets to have two within that round, but Art as well. It's not like he was any slouch over there on Ancient. He was finding impact. He was quite aggressive here, and a massive round from him. You could see all those engagements, right? He gets the trade onto Farley after drop goes down. Those two are absolutely beautiful, and the final onto Glaive right there to close this one and get the pistol underway for Fury. The Force Buy back in, and this one, Astralis wants to be competitive. They're up, they're over, they're pushing. Are we still in Ancient? CT's battling for middle with almost three players. And Config, wow, quick snap out of Yuri. That was threatening with the D, but he does deal with it. Oh, this is a real problem now for Astralis. They have opted to force buy into this. They might want to opt for a, a gamble stack, right? And if it is the other bomb site, they're gambling correctly. The roulette spins out. And they are in the wrong place. They, they can just save because you don't want to go down here. You don't want to give up all these goodies. Still quite spread our Fury. Plenty of time on the clock. A minute 15 rings out. Drop. Yuri, safe. Case okay, Rado and Ard are now all just kind of chilling out in limbo. Right? There's no indication of where they want to finish. Plenty of smokes, couple of flashes, rifles galore. Case Rado is going to throw a smoke in unison with Art. So right side of the A site. Blame F's not going to be able to contribute too much, but look at that smoke from Glaive. Completely denies it. They're working on mid right now, so they are grabbing this room. Uh, as they're going to pincer on up through connector, there's still a chance for a B split here. Looks like with save coming down mid, it will be the A finish. Time can get the best of Furia, but they've still got 30 seconds. Hard jewel for Glaive to win, and eventually does fall. So Zipex not able to do too much from short. These stray bullets on the Deeg not going to find much, and it seems like Blame and Farley would rather have another attempt into the third round of play. Yeah, they did some good damage, but just unknowing exactly how much. Drop has heard this rotation back, and he's alerted his teammates to this. Aren't starting to get a move on. Drop going to cut them off at the pass, make sure that they're unable to escape from the B-bomb site. And the worst-case scenario right now for Astralis is Farley and Blame lose absolutely everything here. Yeah, they're set up pretty tight. They are hunting indeed. One of the issues here with this hunt is if they do lose the weapons, I think they're just going to send Art in here. He's, he's changed out guns with drop. Is if they give over a rifle or, or, or two, that would be a very, very bad move from the Brazilian side. A bomb now. Five or so seconds till this one detonates and then the sound cue to push. Oh, confirmed he's on the bench. Blame. Does lose the dig. So just Farley is all, oh, yeah. All just. he gets away with is that scout. So this is uh, going to be difficult for Farley now. He wants to stay mobile with this scout and find some tags, but they know exactly what was saved. So if you're Furia, you could do something quick. You could do something execute heavy over towards A, just stifle them and block them out of the choke points with some smokes and mollies. But this is looking great now for the clean Furia 3-0 conversion. 
It'd be a bit of a calamity if they drop the ball here against a P250, a Deagle, and a Scout in play. And they've opted for the B stack. Everybody making their way on over. A little bit of boost up on the side box in case Rado quite quick on this. He's going to get some jewels. Yeah, well, he has the scout and spots one out. Caserata will force Glaive out and executes him. Prepared for another here as well, that close nade. Oh, config, very nice. That AK could fall into enemy hands as well, unless Art's willing to try and defend it. Look, they're closing in on that retrieval. Someone needs to go back and get the bomb here from Furia. They could already start the 40 second timer, but they're still trying to grab space. This might get out of control, Alex. And yeah, because now the scout's over on towards CT. Missed his chance. And there's the AK in a config's hand, so watch out for him. Oh, very noisy on this. Thinks better of committing. There's three now on the other side of that smoke. Bomb's still coming just now as well. CT smoke will be starting to fade any moment here. The nade. Not gonna do too much damage whatsoever, and config's in position. Config's actually got the AK. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Crisis averted. No dramas now. They should be able to close this one down. Safe and R are low, but... Safe would love to live. Captain we all. Obvious. Yeah. Living his best life. Uh, gets it across the line. One <laughs> HP for Yuri now as well. They really do have to get away from the bomb explosion. Zip should try and save this, right? Even with the next round of play, 2,900 as the loss bonus. Blame's going to be pretty light on. He opted to buy a Deagle just there. Is it in drops interest at... Force the issue at all? Ah. Oh, maybe definitely not now because Farley's taken Yuri's weapon out of the round. See how far this one blows away. Art's gone down as well here. Oh, another. Does go down and they will at least completely exhaust Astralis' save. That AK does not get maintained. Yeah, cleaning house right there. So good stuff from Furia. They lost a lot of bodies in that, but they also make sure Astralis don't carry anything through. Now, Farley has been saving for the AWP and he's going to pull it out on the first gun round of play here. 6.5k to splash his cash and you can have Kevlar, nades, everything he needs to operate into the first gun round. Diffuse kit for config as well. So it is a full buy for both squads, safe into his big green as well. Ooh, just got flashed off the strafe. Config will have to commit to this line now and it's a duel that... Oh, the flash the way. He's coming. Yeah, way. just as easy as it came, he's gone. Yeah, that was way too easy for drop there. Uh, and this is the thing, they went for a two-pronged kind of mid-defense. There was the no window scope. And we've lost an Astralis defender immediately. And none other than that, it's the prize winner in config. Yeah, I think now for Fury, this should be some pretty simple counter-strike. Regroup, use your number advantage, use your util advantage, go for a bit of a set piece. As Astralis split up into a 2-2. Two -two. Lave is starting to search close towards A ramp and bringing Farley alongside for the journey. That's the fight. That is the fight. Okay, Serato goes super wide. They're pushing B at the same time here. So two points of aggression for Astralis taken. Zip is calling this clear. Blame can stay perched or rotate back. Uh, Furia, the hesitation is going to cost them. Yes, and now more bloodshed on the ramp. Farley pulls the trigger onto Art. Great recovery so far from the Astralis. Very mobile on the defense. Blame is still in the apartments and can be a problem for this drop Yuri pair. Oh, Zip's just cleared mid, but they're up short. Blame has to worry about apartments and short. First comes easy. Drop confirms he's still there. Should distract, but it doesn't matter if you just get both. And now a missed shot as well. Blame will win the round on his own, on the B apps. There's no saving here. Look where Glaive is. Yeah, that's just not happening. Loud about it. Safe. Puts his head through. Glaive happy to collect. And maybe even two orbs. Yeah, thinking about it. Okay. That's curious that they've gone for double orbs this early uh, as well right there. So picked up uh, the secondary. Now, I think that'll go into the hands of Config here. He is going to get that one picked on up. Now, this started so well. Look at this free kill. That was it. That's how the round started. Uh, and you're thinking at that point, if they just regroup, but Glaive gets one back, the shadow advantage, Farley gets one back. They're just getting picked apart here with no trade available. And that's one of the things for Fury. They're trading throughout the group stage. It wasn't fantastic. Normally, Art gets them some space. He either dies or gets the opener, right? And they're able to work their way into this. But it's going to be B exact. It's just Zip. It is just Zip. Wow. Zip X is going to be tested, but he's what, a veteran at this position. Tidy for the first. In now. Problems for Astralis. Double up retake. Yeah, this is the opposite of what you won. Nice smoke gap on it. Do you really want to go for this? They should call it off. This is going to give away a lot. Uh, and they're just going to find themselves with no cash going forward here. Even though the loss bonus next round is at the 2400 mark, you, you don't have enough residual right now. Blame is the only one. 
util is threatening. Safe still da handles Glaive. Find safety, and yeah, they will have to call this off. It's just too many resources. Losing two Orpers on a retake is just not the one you won. Farley overstays his welcome. Yeah, they've given up so much here. Blame can drop one in the next, and Zip can buy. Config should be able to likely get out of Silent Stem 4 here as long as they stay alive, but starting to hunt three over in towards the market position. Config's AWP now noted. Trying to find the kill here, so Config, aggressive maneuver while retaining the AWP. Yeah, it's in his character for sure. So they will be able to make this one work. It's not as bad as I forecast here. The loss bonus has helped them to get out M4s for uh, everybody else. So no dramas here. And you can see what's happening, right? There's no way. Uh, unless Zip gets a multi-kill, the retake on this site is going to be so difficult. Good impact from safe and drop here to deny this secondary AWP. Farley will get that one back. The buys are coming on through and four to one. Fury are hot out the gates here. This is what I talk about, the dynamic setup. Now config short, nobody B, zip and glaive on A. It's always something different out of Australis. It makes them very difficult to read, but if they are reading all the play incorrectly, they'll be chasing their tail. Oh, Farley, going to get punished for that one. Good to keep it equivalent. It's a four on four. They are coming knocking on this A door, and now with the smoke, Safe wants to maintain the threat. Ooh, I don't the think he dribbled smoke. that exactly where he wanted it, did he? Wanted to kind of be the divider so you can sow seeds of doubt, and it looks like it's at least achieved that much. Glaive and Blame concerned about the absence of info in middle. Arts has an, a line here, and we've already seen the aggression work for Astralis, so aware that this could be possible. Arts just hoping that somebody leers into his line of sight. There's enough utility right now if Fury wanted to try and finish on towards A. They've got a couple of flashes, a smoke, a few Molotovs. Case Rado up through apartments, dropping safe, looking likely to come through this A ramp play with Art as the linchpin through mid. Could be the difference maker here. Perfect utility. Flame smoked off. They have to start getting a wriggle on. Default needs to be cleared. Glaive to distract. Oh. Fading. Oh, completely booked on the fade. Oh, and Blame will get two. This round has fallen apart for Furia as easy as that. The setup, perfect. It's like, it, when you look at the way Astralis is positioned there, it must be frustrating when you, you if you didn't have the X-ray, you feel like the site is wide open at times. And then suddenly these points of contact all come upon the fade of the smoke. Blame, a great find. Yeah, it gave Fury enough rope to hang themselves right there. Yeah. Right? So you go for your execute. Yeah, if you're not quick, that's okay. We're sitting, we're waiting. We're hoping that you're going to take more time off the clock. It makes our life easier. So Astralis will get their second round on the board, but Spotty still a consecutive feeling essential right now. And beautiful from Blame, right? The, the smoke fading there. And this is the thing, because safe through both of them, those smokes were on different timers. They weren't going to fade at the same time. The jungle one was up a little bit later. So uh, the buyback here and drop into a Deagle. The rest with AKs, but quite heavy towards middle here. Look at Yuri's space quite quickly towards the chair position. Nice nade onto Arp. I'll do nicely. On a follow-up, nade is beautiful as well. Yuri takes even more damage. Lots of players just around the corner of config short position. Booster starting to be deployed and they can just worm their way out into the angles. They're gonna be so vulnerable to this if they're not ready. Yuri, crouch important. Over on the bricks now. And that's big from config, gets away with it. Four versus three as the dust will settle 50 seconds. And Safe. Oh, oh, safe catches blame. Not ready for config. Bring in the fight, bring in that unbridled aggression. And look at the bomb's position. Maybe drop can sell this just by existing. Has a pivot point here, knows one's window. The bomb's being scooped up and finishing B right now. Smoke actually helps Drop to try and clear. Doesn't find the info he was looking for, but B's going to be wide open here. Drop has to rotate. There was good comms there because Zip was worried about that vent play the entire time. Now he's given it up and Config's jumped out window. Ooh. If Drop just holds on to this rotation, they'll have to go past his line of sight. Well, Caserato should get the plant for free. This is still winnable for Furia now. This is huge. Power position, Drop. What are you doing? He's making so much noise. Oh, he brings the fight to Config. 
Okay, well, that'll work well. Bombs on B. Screaming it. Farley on the retake. Kid available. Good bit of util as well. So just the after plant decision making here for Caserato could come back to haunt him if the incendiary lands towards bench. Ah, it's our drop. He has He's to ahead. go deep into the site play, play. The angles. Nice move from him. Keeps Caserato the unknown entity. Still crawling is Farley. Farley now aggressing. That's the spray. Ooh. What I'm done, and it's dropped to finish. Takes the contact. Good trade, and that's five for Furia. Denies the Astralis consecutive. Really good play there from Drop. I, I thought he may have gone a little bit too aggressive by trying to track down Config, but the fact that he gets the jump on him, the fact that he gets that kill, it, it keeps the question mark. Is, is it an A finish? Because the R Connect player just died. Meanwhile, the ruse was the bomb getting planted on B, and it felt like they did a good job, right? There was an opening that came through one of the smokes towards Connector. Config grabs another one there. This is. If they do, just continue to... Oh, my God. They are running in towards the A ramp. Blame gone mid, so Art will get the info. Looking the wrong way. Art loses his life, does some damage. Blame only with 19 for the rest of this round. He's already tucking back into jungle. Confi can go and get that AK at any... They've missed them. Oh, they are so far out. Yeah, he's been caught out by that one. Space to be taken. Just a B250. His back turn. Drop will shut it down. And just as Farley looks away... He has been met by lead. Caserato late through Palace. That's a classic contact play, isn't it? Isn't they got so much contact right there. Or nice lack save. thereof. It's a great save if Config leaves with the AK as well. Yeah, I, I think that... Yeah, look, the fact that Farley's up in towards the Palace position and then just looks away, right? If he gets that kill, then they're in more of a, a coffin of the A site. But him going on down, it alleviates a lot of pressure and tucking tail blame will get away. Nice opener from him, but that's all they have to boast in this round of Fury. They skyrocket up to six, looking like a great T haul already for the Brazilians. And this is what you want to see, right? Ancient was the map choice of Astralis. It, it, they, they played it very well. They had a very good T half. It, it, was, it was well done. But this is now the choice of Fury, and they picked this for a reason. They're showing that they're here to play. I think it's hard to call a favor in this game. I'd say from the group games, maybe you would go with Furia, but Astralis, they, they've been looking good, right? They look, this is their debut with Farley within the team. They've played all seven maps here at Pro League throughout the group stage. So, you know that they've got it in their back pocket to play anything. Now, they need to make one of these dynamic calls I'm talking about stick because they've had differences in plays. One of them that they pulled off earlier was that round where Zip was in the site, so it worked for them, but they need some consistency. I spoke about consecutive rounds, while the two haven't come consecutive at all. And mid, rinse and repeat. Blame hyper-aggressive on the ramp. Hyper-aggressive and punished for it. The pop flash clear. Glaive, trajectory implies sandwich, and that's the end of him as well. Case Rato is bullying them. Only Farley on CT does but drop down the bomb down too but config's fallen and oh farley yeah he's gonna have to try and really have a hero moment here and it doesn't last long Art builds upon his first with a second just zip hanging out wondering where the four teammates he had have gone i, I think about mirage is a little bit of like a leaky ship Right, because if, if if one hole is opened up, right, not only are you having to try and fix that hole, you already had a task that you had to do. Yeah, and, you were you were uh, fixing the cannons to the deck. Yeah, and then at that point, well, now there's a leak, so now yeah. you're running down under with it with a bit of a bucket. And now there's cannons rolling all around the floor, and there's problems everywhere, right? And you can see how quickly that manifests. You're worried about mid, you're worried about palace, a ramp. Oh wait, they can be window. Wait, they can be through behind us through the vent. We have some massive problems now, and so does zippers. Yeah, full dodger. It is a common clear, dare I say it, on the save, but he's... Ooh, oh, he's got him. He'll take three in the round, but it's more important. Seven for Furia. They're heading towards a one-out T half. The finances are funky over there. Yeah, I, I would say, like, whoa. I was going to say maybe just a half buy here, but uh, Config's gone for a hero AWP because there's a certain point in a map look, that has a slight CT bias, right? Nine, six, eight, seven, pretty much half of the course in a map like this. You, you want to hit the big red button and go, guys, I know that we're only going to have Famuses or MP9s, but we have to start to buy. And it looks like Config's thought exactly that. He's going to go into the AWP. We'll be able to afford into the next, but this is the impact that needs to be felt. This yeah. can't fall flat. Oh, there. Peeking under, thinks better of it. Yuri is present. And Yuri can be very scary on this T side. Partnered up with that of K Serato, this time in Palace. They got a three man mid prong. K Serato happy to drop some threatening util. But I mean, this really is just a question of what can config get done, right? I mean, 
the round shouldn't be too threatening. Yeah, uh, the thing is, if he gets the first kill and then is able to reposition and find a second and, and Furia take their time, as they are right now, then it could spiral out of control. They have, have so it. many bodies towards middle here, and there's B aggression coming on through for more info, so they can start to piece this puzzle together. If Ooh. Config gets up towards Ticket... Hold up a second. Drop? I'm not looking. Didn't see him. Does it just can't finish off Zipex. But there's something, and oh, oh, immediately they hit their W key. Config, if they do... He split looks nice here. Well, yeah, it looks perfect. Config's out of play. It's just zip. It was zip. It was. That was tense. the round. Yeah, all right. Well, I enjoyed that one. Don't know about you. Eight already for the Furia boys, and it's only going to get worse for Farley. He's been shut down. Config's not going to try this round. Yeah, he's a little bit close here. Now, as yes. I mentioned, with the uh, loss bonus where it's at, he will be able to buy next round by virtue of that 3,400. So not the end of the world, but I'm sure Farley's sitting there licking his lips going, hey, I would like that one next round, please, Mr. Config. I didn't watch enough of the anime to be able to make Captain Levi references. He's from the, uh, the, the Attack I do on Titan one, I do right? see the resemblance, yeah. And he was a bit of a badass. From who are we talking about? Farley. Oh. You see what I'm sorry, saying? Sorry, I didn't realize. I, I, I'm i with you. I just assumed all of us were making the connection. No, you've made the connection and, oh. and, and brought it up. Sorry. Uh, yeah, just a bit of a Captain Levi vibe from Farley. And I, I, I was trying to, like, think, does Captain Levi lick his lips at any point? Is he eating people? We're asking know. the wrong If Rush could ch chip on in now, he could definitely help us. I'm sure there's a lot of our viewers at home. And uh, uh, Ents, I think, uh, a big Attack on Titan fans as well. So maybe we'll have to ask them when we see them. Ah, and his second name is Ackerman. Levi Ackerman. That's a pretty good fake nick for Farley. He could be Levi. Here we go. Config in window. Farley's AWP over towards B. And there it is. Top Cat Smoke. A couple of flashes. Art jumping on through. Config wants to stop Oi. this. Oh, his Art's dead. Surely looks away. Missed shot. Punished. Config going to be slamming the desk. Round continues and fast. Lots of nade damage. They have managed to keep Fury at the pass. Zipex, a big contribution. So distracted by the apps. Doesn't stop the full push, but does shut down the short prong, and that will slow them down. A cancel call made, safe and drop, return all the way to spawn. Look where Glaive is. He's already pushed up close ramp here. Right, if he's able to get one and done, it'll buy enough time for the rotation of Blame to get back into position. Glaive still has a Molotov. He still has a HE in hand, and he's actually pushing forward, Alex. Now, does the in-game leader push his luck or sit on back? Looks like it's the latter. Oh, safe. Just not ready for that one, was he? Nice shut down. It, it drew almost a full rotation. They fooled everybody but Glaive, who stayed as the last responder on this A site. And now the Stars is third, looking extremely likely, unless Caserato and Drop can pull something magical here. Damage still can be on the cards. Make sure that you whittle down some of those CT purchases. But all in all, it, it feels like this round has already come to its conclusion. Yeah, I mean, in terms of directing the credit, a full team effort, Glaive does shut down the potential of that 3v4. Bow config out, right? Yeah. Had a bit of a wobble, but that's such a high pressure situation that config's putting himself into. That's where combat orping comes into play, right? And it's never easy to do, especially with Art, who is just moving like a madman. I think there's there's very few players that fit the, the category and fit the bill as much as Art does in terms of uh, his appreciation and affinity for just finding gaps, floating and flirting with those gaps, the slight lapse of judgments, knowing when people will and won't be addressing parts of the map. And, you know, that leaky ship you were talking about in that example, I think Art's... Ooh, they didn't save it. They were waiting there the whole time. And don't man... Oh, here we go. And it's actually a double T-side AWP setup here, Alex. Everyone's favorite config and Art head-to-head. -head. Here we go. And Art is too quick for that. Yeah, could have seen that one coming. Art loves himself a quick orb. Jewel gets it. T... Orps, two of them, very unique. This is the cool thing about Art, right? Like he's gonna do something outside the box and Art is actually giving them another opening to work with. Two rounds consecutively he's taken down Config, but can Fury convert this time? A mid Gambit from Blame and Zip as they try and clear out towards top mid, both from the window position. Glaive tasked with A again and here comes this mid crawl. Blame F. It's a question of his bravery on this peak, does he? Does he just wide swing a little jiggle out? Doesn't have any info on short. But if he waits long enough, they may not be looking his way. Farley's going to be overrun here, Alex. He's standing on the balcony like a bit of a tip right now. Oh, that's the info. A lot of it. Yuri, dead. Safe trades. 
Smoked and go, surely. The rotate will be on its way, and oh, Farley's dead. That is, that could be the round. It could, and looks like it might be. Yeah, you can see how that's going to pan on out, right? Because Farley's so aggressive in that position. He has to oh, worry about so many different angles. Blame takes the late info, but too little, too late. Gets traded on out, and the bomb will go down. Another round. Just seeing save in his protocols just checks the boost on the box as well. Need to be diligent. Definitely, definitely. But that's nine, Chad. I mean, after seeing Ancient, Astralis definitely looking like the stronger team into the second half especially but it, it does feel like we are destined for nuke now in this best of three and it's good right this is a quarter final you want it to go to the distance teams winning their own map choices for once makes a lot of sense and clay is hearing a lot of these footsteps here so drop you will be putting yourself to the mouth of the in-game leader a bit of flub spam right there and well neither player connecting the dots just yet we'll get the kill but Hey, it too. That's, That's what he wanted. He wanted the Deagle style. Yes. Didn't want the M4 jumping kill. It was all about that with the Deagle in hand. And now Glaive finds somewhere to roost. Does drop the smoke. And that should keep him safe as well. Safe was the man tasked with dealing with that. Now they dropped one of the AWPs. Art, I think he's had enough of the double AWP and will now go back to an AK-47. They can buy back in here, Astralis, but this half is already getting quite bleak. Now I mentioned a 9-6. This is how quick it was. Here it is from Art. Straight forward. Frag right there, and that's just an art call, right? It's fantastic when your in-game leader says, hey guys, just do a default. I'll go kill the guy pushing Palace, and uh, gets away with exactly that. This one we can all forget about. So we are back into the buy. Quick moves from Config. He hasn't Aggression. been deterred. This time he's got his signature weapon, the M4A1S. Yuri late to the hold of mid. Ah, oh, what are you doing? He's just walked straight out of the balcony. Takes space, takes names. Config walks into Yuri. Wow, some early aggressions, and now we get to see Zip try and pass the test of B once again, and he's actively contesting. The They're rotating over, Farley's coming. Moving towards him, he eats the flash and still pulls the trigger. The crosshair perfectly placed as he looks to delay. Farley summoned. He should be able to shut this down. Smoked off for now. Zip has got all the angles in his bag of tricks. Save for Bates Barrel. Still not dead somehow. Bullets through, do penetrate the skull. Safe. I have to think wisely about the next move. He's lucky he didn't go down there. He had the bomb. That could have been thrust out the window, dropped into the sign, and it would have been doomsday as far as round 13 was concerned. But the fact that they're backing off has given them a second life, another opportunity to try and convert here. Blame and connect are finally now understanding that it won't be the B finish. Playing a little bit more defensively. Zip was just jumping, right? So uh, has quite a bit of information. Yeah, this makes more sense. Way. You can see they were having a conversation. Uh, Farley and Zip both staring at the apps and figure, let Zip work his magic elsewhere. Coming through mid, this is great for Blame. The fact that he's still in this connector, you would expect players to maybe be a bit more site-centric. He could get two here. Yeah, and it's going to be a hard clear for them as well. Zip will swing out. Safe. Okay, Serato. Good one. And there's the second, just as you saw coming. Too many angles to worry about, and it's a silenced M4. So by the time that they connect the dots, they're already dead, and now it will just be the save for Yuri here. So not done yet, our Astralis. They will grab their fourth. Now remember, winner of this quarterfinal will go on to play the winner of FaZe versus Na'Vi in the semi. On the other side, we already have it decided. It will be NIP versus Ents. That'll be the first semifinal fixture of tomorrow for your Saturday. But Blockbuster see us here for the Friday night. What do you reckon about NIP? Is that another full 50-50 in your eyes? I think so. Yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a bit hard to call, right? I, I think the NIP are going to be playing a type of counter that doesn't have a whole lot of pressure here, obviously because of uh, the Fozy situation slash Brolin situation. And they've been playing good. They've been looking good. If... Rez is continuing to play this kind of Counter-Strike. Uh, we definitely have a good game to look forward to. That's a nice nade onto Art right there. No, I agree. Rez has been looking hot to trot here. We're straight out mid. Bomb's leaning B, but... Let's see what Yuri can get done. Slower pace this time. Art had three consecutive rounds where he got the opening kill. Only converted one of those, did Furious, so... Odd. Yeah, a bit of a change here in the play. I mean, Astralis would... Bite your hand off for a 9 6 half. Double up T side again here. Poor drop on a Deagle and forward positions from Yuri and K Serato to pincer onto this A site together. Yeah, it's not like they can easily replicate the way in which that double up T round worked. It was an aggressive palace push that gave them the opening and a trade off of a blame window fight. Well, here they come, starting to turn the screws up connector. Oh, wow, the orc just jumped straight into blame. Art trying his luck, and that one does leave him looking foolish. 
It doesn't feel like the fight, does it? Not with the big barrel sticking out first. Pinocchio's nose. Yeah, well, now Art is lying on the floor. Blame, good find. Drop, done. Able to contribute anything. This is going to whitewash. There's nothing left of them, just Keserato. And he's been hunted down. Faffin with his weapon. He'd have to hit the quick scope onto Zip, and that's just not to be over the scope. He strikes. And the Danes definitely getting a competitive half out of this after all. Yeah, they're salvaging this. So the 9-6, as you mentioned, and we spoke about it a little bit earlier, they'll be happy to walk away with this. Now, uh, last time when these guys played over there in Katowice, I just want to double-check the scoreline of that one because uh, I think it was a similar first-half score that we saw. And then Fury, once they got onto the CT side, were able to close with, with, with ease. So uh, this is where you, you take a look and you wonder, well, is it just all for show? Right? Are, are Fury going to pull their socks up when they get towards that second half? Yeah, it was a 16-11 to 11 score in a Mirage when they played back in uh, Katowice. And... Uh, it was in well, the first half. Oh, hold up, we're at the end of the first half here. Look yeah, at Cerrado. A lot of space taken. Conflict's been summoned and gets to his power position just as he needed to. Cuts down K Serato. Drop, unable to trade. Art can and will. Strikes from short. Lots of space now into the B site. Zip has to keep his head on a swivel. Multiple targets, multiple problems. It's Furia that leave with an advantage, albeit low on health. Farley to retake. Glaive arriving late. Great smoke, isn't it? Nearly on the lip as well. Heavy advantage. Trying to change that is Glaive. Out the smoke. Fully blind, but unspotted. Safe is going to be very vulnerable now. Ah, oh, dead first. Trade is there. It's all on to Farley. Can he save them? Can he secure that sick? The first is there. He's got time. He's got a kit. I just sit it. Good. Holding. Yuri calls the bluff, baits the shot. One last chance, one last click is all he gets. Buys the time well, and Yuri. Astralis have been holding on. They've given themselves something to work with and working over towards A on the pistol round. Smoke's lined up. Case Serato and safe to receive the rotation of drop, and Yuri is quick, and away we go. Gets off safely. They are committing. Bouncing. Trundling into the sight. There's a lot of CTs here. Safe hiding in plain sight. The kit retrievable. Drop's getting them all. How did he get those? Three clicks from that CT position. They just flood into the sight. And now Zip has to do everything. It falls apart just like that for Astralis. And Drop, we get to see some of those again, I'm sure. K Serato just finished it off. But it was Drop unaddressed. And he shuts and undresses the Stralis. Let's see this again. They were so focused on trying to deal with this position of safe. And Drop was an early responder. He was playing CT and Case. And look at that. The oh, oh, jeez. The third is an absolute beaut right there been, from Drop. Dude, there's another universe where that ends up as a four or five. Beautiful stuff from Drop. New addition. Cute shoes to fill and doing it. Yeah, the coach loved that one. The coach loved that one a lot. Getting this guy from the Academy Ooh, League. He's been uh, definitely grinding himself into the team. But you're right. The AWP up. Oh, Fury will be operating with an AWP right now. And it's just Glocks here for Astralis to be quickly mopped up. Yeah, they're going to farm up some fraggies. That's what you call them. And there they are. Yuri does take a piece. Even that P250 on Art. Good for it. Now, we spoke about Config cooling off, right, or, or putting a lid on him, and they have. He was unable to get away with a lot of the hijinks on the CT side there. I believe Art was entry fragging on him in a couple of rounds, right? He was able to pick him off, pip him at the post there, making him miss a couple of AWP shots as he skyrocketed up the catwalk position. Everybody stay alive. Drop will take the head off Farley there and likely to retain that SMG. Now, Art, by only going for a P250 in that round of play, he can buy into an AWP can swap and change the guns around, and that's exactly what they're starting to do. Oh, I dropped the orb, but will be purchased up late, and there we go, it is getting tossed across. So a pretty good buy here. Art's gonna take that MP9. Let's see if he can make it sing. Astralis' buy, and the real admission is finally into the Galil. Furious buy feels very intimidating. It's very susceptible to Astralis losing an opening player here. So window smoked, Yuri can't do much but throw an incendiary behind the box, and they're charging in. Two towards Delpan already, tucked in. Yeah, it's good scaling here from Zip and Config, right? If they want to go for something quick towards Connector, if Blame and Farley are able to draw some eyes, but they're walking into the AWP here. That's not the play. And that's a very dry peak, Blame. Maybe they weren't expecting the AWP, but you, you knew that R only had a P250 in the previous round, so not uh, connecting the dots quick enough here. R Astralis, and now they're sitting in the dumps. This might be a quick second map of play. Nate on the toes, only to follow through, and... Oh, reload. He's and hurt him. Burnt, so both exchanging sound cues. 
This conflict gonna try his luck. Lave tries to draw attention of jungle. Look at the team play. Great catch from Ob's team. And no one knows. Yuri goes down. That's a necessary trade. But a nice move nonetheless from Config. Bombs it at T-Spawn, fellas. Yeah, they might have to oh, try and finish Jesus. B here. Softening up drop. Don't give it to him. Glaive, a lot of space. Art, however, the fly in the ointment. Yeah, look at this. It's the bomb for Farley as well. So if he walks into Art and the bomb's loose to the MP9, I, I think that Art has the better gun for the job here. Oh, Farley is going to be so frustrated if he finds himself walking in. Yeah, uh, it's, you, you're going to have to be clearing, right? Oh, well, Art will give you the fight. But that slows them down. The rotate on its way as well. Glaive's got to piece this together. Farley charging. Can they stop him out the window? The Marley's good. Zip. Tags up drop. Still finished off by safe. This bomb will not go down. Not on safe's watch. Flames fading. Can contest this. Don't choose to engage until Caserato arrives. Now with the bomb planted, it's Glaive and Farley trying to work. Something shot. great shot onto Caserato. And don't forget, drop low HP. Bogdan's Lord dictates the orb went out on him. It's safe to try and close on this org. And closing the gap, Glaive to be hard cleared here and not looking the right way. It's great from the Danes. A sixth recovered and Farley, the triple. That duel, Art versus Farley, determining so much of the outcome of that one. That's crazy. You feel like Art in that position should have been making that kill every day of the week. The bomb maroon, there's no way back in, but Farley with the necessary frag right here. And this was great. They even baited out the shot from Zip there. But that kill from Config, I, I didn't think it was going to lead to much. But what it what it led to was Art being the only one on the B bomb site, right? So uh, it, it actually came into play here. Config's frag in mid, able to get them something. Art up over, just chilling right now as he looks to peer on over the smoke. Nobody home. The Molly not flushing anybody out from the couch cushions. Oh. Yeah, out safely. Config spotted. Is he really going to jump back up here? He is. Oh, wow, that's naughty. Art has posted as 19th, and it's on to Config. You want to call him off. You have to shut him down. A flick missed. A second attempt. Come on now. Don't keep giving him the chance. Safe. I don't have to worry about Config weaseling his way through the smoke this time round and being able to get on up and ruin Yuri's day. But back towards B yet again, and Glaive has a lot of space here. It is just Art on the B bomb site, and... Yeah, he's passed on the drop jiggle. He's been exploited once, Art. He might get exploited again here. Uh, I don't think they're aware. If Glaive peers on through, they'll start to know, and yeah, now they do. Drop goes down. He goes through. Yuri. Yuri, big frag to post and stops Glaive before he could cut off the Still rotate. B. They are. Art will hear this now. Doesn't call for help, doesn't drop his smoke. Just punishing the leaping Zipex. Blame, where's that trade? He's tucked in tight, jiggle on the fight. Nice find from Blame. The round continues. Rotates are on their way. Farley to post up on the window. This is a power position for Farley. Yuri is locked. And Blame gracefully glides to get that bomb down. Farley, they, they baited him once. Oh, he looked away. No one's across. Paranoid now. The cut of the noise. Trying to strafe. Nice shot. Oh, it's it. And wow, a dink in response. They know where they're coming from now. Farley and Blame ready for trouble and handling business. Another high impact round out of Farley. That's ridiculous. That's two rounds in a row where Fury have a clear number advantage and they're just unable to hold on in. It's the B bomb site that's falling apart here at the seams. And that was a forced investment from Fury. It is just going to be back down to pistols now as the Stralis have a real opportunity to try and close this lead on down. A 12 to seven scoreline now, most likely going to become a 12 to eight as it should be a full eco here from Fury. And I was about to say it was, as leaving spawn, Art buys into the swag seven. He's had success with that over on Ancient and he'll need to do the same again. And they're coming quick, Alex, towards Catwalk. If he finds himself in one of these tight corners, the Mag-7 could still do some damage. Safe, position noted, but so are the T's. Connected control given, sure, a possibility, and B, a likely affections. Yeah, let's see what you got with that Mag-7 then, Art. There are bodies. Blame and again, he did the same thing to him on Ancient. Worked well, he's surely gonna get run down here. Oh my Boys. God, he's getting two. Boys. It's the only weapon in play. That's the end of that, as now safe punishes one. There shouldn't be more, and there's not. Damn, Art knows how to sow some chaos. Two USPs up against the remaining Danes. If Zip, for some reason, yeah, he's considered the app, so. Okay, Serato cages himself. 
Doesn't want to give them a leg up until that bomb goes down. Glaive goes looking into the USP, and now Furia, with only a single Mag 7 investment, could be posting a 13th. It is the Clutch Minister. Has he got it in him? You'd argue it's supposed to be an easy one. AK's fallen into enemy hands. Zip deals with K Serato. Yuri last seen short. Zip. Patient and delivers. Astralis do save themselves, and it's Zipex they have to thank. This is crazy. They're three rounds in a row. They've been able to win out, and this time it wasn't even a post plan. Through window. No orb. Going swiftly over, and Art wants to take this fight in the middle again. Flashed off. Config cross. Got to make and it end. down. He is really have it. They have his number. He's on, owning on. in the head-to-head -head right now. Config has the least kills for Astralis. Yeah, they're quickly grouping back up towards A. They know Art lives on B. Trying to exploit Caserato's position. It's safe. Ooh, ooh, getting him a little frisky. There was four smokes down on mid and two down on A. So there's only a couple of smokes remaining in the server right now. And safe is fortifying this site. They know that the orb was holding the line, so Caserato needs to be very, very careful here. Art still has mid control. Yuri to chip on in and. It's, it's going to be the A finish. Yeah, safe's got Palace on lock. He could be vulnerable to the Tetris swing. Blame confirms his presence. They are coming through on Tetris. And oh, an easy frag. Can he get away? Yes, is the answer. Blind as a bat. Caserato, a lot to do. A lot to do. Safe continues to build upon it. And Caserato from triple. Blame so close to finishing the job. But now he's all alone to try and do so. One tap goes awry, and it's Caserato for 13. <laughs> that smoke came from downtown just to make sure that Blame had no way forward. Beautiful stuff there, and all well, those close rounds. We had three consecutive rounds where, well, two being the high end, one being the low end of the Astralis players survived to get them across the line. That clutch, that 1v1 from Zipex. Yeah, this is the sting, right? This is the part that stings a lot here, the fact that it is just going to be pistols, and I think they're feeling pressured to force by the loss bonus at the bottom of the barrel here, 1,900 into the next. They know that they can still keep this one competitive against Furia. They bore, and they're heading towards B. It's where the success has yeah, been. and it could be pacey. Effective util. Hasn't done damage, but does slow them down. It's the second step, some deep flashes. Art sniffing this one out. They're coming. Ready or not, they're coming. Blame surging out the window first. He's still alive. He's taking space and catching bullets. And yeah, this one has fallen completely flat. That was a full investment. Yeah, and it was so disconnected. Glaive has space. He's spotted now. Won't be long for this world as he tries to tuck in towards window. Two players lying in wait. And it is Farley helplessly coming up connector with the bomb on his back. Call this one one round. As, look, it's a nice shot, but won't you see too many more of those out of Farley. He'd love to take Caserato out. One little ball bang or two. A bit thick for him. And extended. So, Furia, I mean, it's, it's hanging on by a thread at times. It really does feel like at any moment, Astralis can continue to close that gap. That string of three re relatively convincing, albeit bar the mag seven yeah yeah you have to look at that three right and sure they get them on the board and they convert and they make it look good after losing opening deaths right that was one of the factors that played into those rounds but for furia they have this lead they're holding on to it and astralis with the loss bonus have opted to force by again right they didn't want to take the save and then buy in and contend against round 15 this is an all-in yeah okay well it is ride or die and charging in charging in to safe domain one and then Missing between the two wickets. Now Blame has space and frags. Caserato and Yuri activating in a big way. It's Caserato to spray him down. S repel. The plant sleeve, a scout, a Galil, a couple of deagles, and a back 10 in play here for Astralis to try and extend play. But if they do, it just feels like it's going to hurt. Yeah, well, that hurts. I am cut down at the round immediately. And there's pace behind Glaive. Fighting head to head with drop. And wow, that makes the MAC 10 look good. Beats out the jewel. Oh, with a defensive one, and yeah, he's gonna have to reposition now. He's been spotted out. Nade looks great. And is 100 damage felt. Yeah, this is just gonna peter out now, isn't it? Yeah, Hart oh, dancing with them. Dicing with death, finding new positions. The Tech 9 may be all he needs. Great at this range. Finish the job, he confirms if X is there, and a bit of a shy one. Just safe to deal with business and forcing him out. Zip's got himself a dig if he could have just...